Hey guys, Happy Dude here. Thank you for joining me. My master set of the 151 Pokemon set is finally complete. Come on, let's take a look. I just finished it this weekend. Um, it took a while, but that's because there are a lot more than 151 cards in this set. It's more closer to 400, so you can't even fit them all in this binder that is included with this set. So I had to buy another binder so I can fit them all in. So let's take a look. It's really a magnificent collection. So I started a bit different than uh, most collectors. I started with the basic energies. And then we start with the base set. So these are all the cards that I pulled myself, uh, except for Charizard. I never pulled any Charizard, so they are pretty rare. Uh, Blastoise, meanwhile, I pulled them like five times. Um, all the different kinds. And these new EX Holo cards are really beautiful. Uh, let me take one out so you can see it. Uh, every card is in a, a separate separate sleeve to protect them. Really, really nice cards. I also pulled all these cards except for Kakuna. It's actually uh, not that rare or valuable, but still very hard to pull. I heard it from a lot of people uh, that they ha had trouble pulling that one. Okay, so uh, I always put a card in there, so all the evolutions are next to each other. That's why I did that, if you were wondering. I also pulled all these cards, and Arbok absolutely looks beautiful. Look at that. So aggressive. Pikachu, actually uh, also pretty rare to pull that one. Same with Raichu but it's not that valuable, at least at the moment. This one is also pretty hard to pull. Nidoran. Nidoking also looks very beautiful. I also pulled all of these ones. Yeah, Wigglytuff also looks very nice. I pulled a lot of uh, Zubats and Golbats. So, yeah, these are also very easy to pull. These were also very easy. Alakazam looks very, very nice. Macho, Machoke, Machamp, not that rare. This one also looks very nice. Golem. But it's a bit of a shame that you don't see um, the, uh, the whole body. Usually you only see the head and a piece of its hand. That's a bit of a shame. On the older cards, you could always see the whole Pokemon. But still, very nice cards. Oh, Ponita. I pulled like 30 times. Okay, next page. These were also very, very common to pull. Even Gengar. I pulled it like five times. Um, Electrode was also very difficult to pull. Mm. 
squeezing Genghis Khan also pretty rare to pull but still not that valuable at the moment who knows in a few years stormy I never I maybe one time yeah I pulled it like one time Mr. Mime I pulled it like five times Scyther also not that rare Jinx also a very nice card these are pretty common actually Lapras, Dilu, Eve, all the evolutions of Eve they look very very nice yeah two cards here because on the next page I did a, a bit of a switch up normally these cards uh, are in um, not here they should come after the last Pokemon but since uh, uh, Omanyte is an evolution of the Helix Fossil I thought it would be nice to put that in front and since I have uh, three rows uh, it fits very nicely so the order is not as it's as it should be but I think it's better this way and then you can also fit the three very rare birds from the first Pokemon movie next to each other Articuno, Zapdos and Moltres very nice cards and then you can also fit Dratini, Dragonair and Dragonite next to each other and then we have Mewtwo and Mew and, and Mew looks absolutely beautiful look at that and then we have the trainer cards these are actually pretty hard to pull um, but they don't have a lot of value again at the moment who knows in a few years okay then we have the last trainer cards here and then we start with the promo cards so these are cards that you don't pull but you get them uh, with the ultra premium packs so we have Mewtwo Mew X but this is a uh, metal card so it's a metal promo card it's pretty heavy looks very nice and you can even feel uh, the letters on the back very nice card I put it in the middle uh, for the weight this is also a pretty uh, valuable card looks very nice and then we have a uh, holo electro buzz and Zapdos it looks a lot like the uh, normal card but there's a, a small difference his face is looking to the uh, left and here it's looking straight at you yeah Electrobus is also different I believe uh, yeah that's the same card but there's no shine to it that's the difference and then on the next page we have Bulbasaur Charmander and Squirtle and they are uh, different as you can see and they also have some shine to it I believe these are called uh, Cosmos cards looks very very nice and they did the same with Abra, Kadabra and Alakazam. This one looks very similar um, with the normal AX card. Where is he? Yeah, here he is. But there's a difference with the spoon. Excuse me, I need a spoon. Spoon. <laughs> 
it's a it's a bit smaller here that's the difference and then we start with the art cards now these are incredible rare and valuable and the value goes up like every few weeks but just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful these art cards are and yes this is also the wrong order um uh, usually pokemon does it in uh, rarity so the further you go to the back the more rare a card is but i think it looks better this way so it's like uh, with the base set bulbasaur ivysaur venusaur charmander charmeleon charizard squirrel water blastoise and now it's the same here so let me know in the comments below if you think this order is better or uh, do you hate it and this card i just bought it last last weekend absolutely beautiful very very rare a shame that i never pulled it because i paid 120 euros for it that's the value of this card now so if you're seeing this video uh, in the future, maybe now it's $1,000, <laughs> who knows? I think uh, the squirrel one is the most beautiful. And Blastoise, that's one that I pulled. I always pull Blastoise, uh, probably because it's my favorite card. And War Turtle, War Turtle also looks very, very beautiful. But I think Squirtle is my favorite of um, of this page. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And then on the next page we have Caterpie Pikachu. Also very nice card. Uh, a lot, a lot is going on here in the back. There are a lot of details in these cards. Nidoking King Psyduck, that's also one that I pulled for myself. Very, very nice card. He's just walking, very lonely on the stairs with a headache. This card is also one of my favorites. Poliwhirl. Looking at himself in the reflection. That's one very beautiful card. It's actually not that expensive. Uh, I also had to buy that one. Uh, I paid 10 euros for it. Machoke, that's one that I pulled. Tangela, Mr. Mime, Omanite. And then we have the uh, last art card here. Dragonair, also a very, very nice card. Alakazam, also one of my favorites. Uh, and now we switch over to the more uh, cartoonish cards. Zapdos, also um, pretty expensive. I believe it was, it, it is 50 euros right now. And then Venusaur, Charizard and Blastoise next to each other. I also pulled Blastoise myself and Venusaur and Charizard I had to buy. And guess three times, Charizard is the most expensive again. I also really like this Arbok card. Don't know why, I think it's... That purple and green just looks very nice. Nine tails, also very nice. Wiggly tough. I also pulled that one for myself. And then we have another Alakazam, Golem, Kangaskhan, Jinx, also very nice. Zapdos and Mew. Mew is a few times in here. Daisy's help, very nice card. 
her orange hair is really reflecting in the light. And Erica's invitation two times. Yeah, looks very, very nice. These are also getting uh, pretty expensive. Switch and basic energy. Uh, the value of these two cards is also uh, going up. I pulled it myself two times and they were in the same pack. Bill's transfer, Giovanni's charisma, also two times. I also pulled this one for myself. Also pretty valuable. Very, very nice card. And as you can see, in if the reflection of the light is correct, that lamp is... Uh, shining it gives the illusion illusion of shine same with that window in the back very nice okay and then we start with the um reverse hollows so i put the basic energies here but as you can see they have a lot of shine to them very nice um you don't have these cards in the japanese version and then it's basically uh, the same order as the basic cards, uh, except for the uh, EX cards, they don't exist in reverse hollow. So I just put my doubles in there. So the order is exactly the same as the uh, basic set. Most people put the reverse hollows uh, next to the normal base card, but I don't think that looks uh, very nice. I think it's better this way. Uh, also, let me know in the comments below what you think is uh, the best for the reverse cards. Do you do them separately, like I do, or do you just put them next to the same card as the base card? Let me know in the comments below. Now, uh, some of these reverse hollows are actually very, very hard to pull like Stormy and Mr. Mime. Uh, let me show you one up close so you can see how these cards look. They are actually pretty nice. Uh, but still, they don't have a lot of value uh, right now. Uh, but the Japanese uh, reverse hollows are called Pokeballs because they have little Pokeballs uh, on the card. And they are a lot more expensive, uh, but still affordable. So get them while you can, because they will go up in value a lot. Eevee and the uh, evolutions of it in reversed hollow were also pretty hard to get. Same with uh, Mewtwo. So yeah, that's about it. I'm very, ha very, very happy that my collection is finally complete. So, thank you all for watching. You all have a nice day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Oh, and also these, these reverse, uh, uh, reverse trainer cards are very rare to pull. Um, and the value is starting to go up. Yeah.